Good morning, Modern Stedders. It's Friday, and Friday means Modern Stedder update. It's raining out right now, so while it's raining, we're gonna cut up the bacon that we smoked the other day, get it sliced up, we'll fry up a couple of pieces, and we'll package up the rest, and we'll try out the regular bacon, and we'll try out some jowl bacon, see what the difference is, and then we're gonna go outside and check on all the animals. Let's get cutting. This looks delicious. <laughs> Look at that. That looks so good. Now I'm no bacon professional, other than I really enjoy making it smoking it, slicing it. But the easiest way I have found to slice it is when it's cold. The colder it is, the easier it slices. If I froze it for a few minutes and let it get a little more chill, it probably cut even better. But I would not want to cut this right out of the smoker or if it's been sitting out and getting to room temperature. Mmm, that looks so delicious. Fry some of this up in a minute. Mmm, smells so good. Only if you could smell it. I'll leave that piece out. We'll put this in the bag. We'll label the bag smoked bacon. Here's the other slab that we cured and smoked. Let's get this sliced up. Oh. one of the jowl bacons. Skin's still on it. Remove the skin. Save that. Maybe we can make Pluto some more dog treats. She's loving the other treats we made her. This time they'll be smoked treats. Now our slicer isn't long enough or wide enough to do all of this. I'm going to figure out, we'll only do that. So I'll save this and I can cut some pieces of bacon off of it going this direction. And whatever I don't, I'll save for my bacon ends and we can put those in some beans. <laughs> Smoked jowl bacon. This is going to be fun to cook up and try it. Our bacon ends, we'll use those in beans. Now I know we've had a lot of modern stutters giving us a hard time because we sliced up our skin and made it for Pluto for dog treats. You know, she's got to have something good too. We're getting all this bacon, she's not getting any of it, so I'm willing to sacrifice the skin for her and she appreciates it. All right, we have jowl bacon cured with juniper berries, jowl bacon cured with maple syrup. 
and then we have our regular bacon and all these pieces have been smoked. We're gonna put them on the frying pan. Fry them up and let's taste them. My first observation is that smells delicious. It smells like bacon. You don't have the bacon when I was cutting it smelled real smoky. I'm not getting that smoke smell right now. Mm, I'm getting hungry is what I'm getting. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. Oh, that looks delicious. The jowl bacon's cooked. Stuff the belly bacon finish. Almost done. A few more minutes. Look at all this deliciousness. Yum. Mmm, can't wait. I know, this isn't fair. Gina's not home, but. That is good. That's jowl bacon. Smoked. Mmm. You can taste the smokiness. You got the bacon. Let's try regular bacon. Okay, so there is a different flavor between bacon and jowl bacon. They're both good, but the belly bacon's better. It just must be the different flavoring of the meat we're being up here. I've been waiting to try this one. This is jowl bacon. It was the cure with juniper berry. That's good too. Delicious. Mm. Oh, my coffee's right here. Mm. Now this is one of those things that just because you can't raise pigs, you don't raise pigs, you don't want to raise pigs, doesn't mean you can't do this. Find a local farmer. This is heaven right here. Heaven's anything like this. It's gonna be good. Um, find a local farmer. Buy half a pig off of them. Buy a whole pig off of them. And then you can do all this stuff. That smoke, mmm, that's delicious. I'm glad I built that smoker. The cured bacon, not smoked, is good. But it's not as good as it's smoked. If you missed that video, I'll put a link to it right here. Not only did we smoke it, we smoked it with apple wood. Mmm. Delicious. Another thing I want to talk about was in the video Tuesday, we talked about doing Patreon. And the way I was reading through the comments and replying, there's a lot of modern setters who think all the videos are going on Patreon. No! Our daily videos are going to be here on YouTube for all the modern setters. The Patreon is going to be something extra. Think of it as a modern stetter university. Thank you, Dennis. You were the one who came up with the name with that, I believe, a month or so ago. But yeah, a modern stetter university. We can dig deeper into different topics, even if YouTube doesn't like them. What the modern stetter wants to know, we're going to dig deeper over on the Patreon account. And that's what that's for. Our daily videos are still going to be here. We're not going anywhere. There's just a lot more content that some of the modern setters would like to see 
that YouTube won't allow us to do anymore. And if we do do it, we could get in trouble. The rain switched over to snow, so let's go out and do our modern stator update. Look at it, it's snowing out. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Let's fill up some water. Just a little bit. The Icelandic chicks don't need any water. They still got plenty. Awesome. They're doing great. All seven of them are getting along nicely. This is their temporary housing. The chicks are growing up good size. Look at the multicolored one. She's getting pretty big. Or he. We're not moving the tractor today. Tell you what, I am sure glad I built that smoker. I can still taste that bacon. So here's our homemade cold smoker. At some point, I don't know if it'll get done this winter or not, I'm gonna extend that and put another five foot piece of pipe in and I'll have 15 feet between the heat smoking air chamber and our hanging chamber. I can still taste that bacon, it tastes delicious. And it's great to be able to have that taste in your mouth and remember, yep, this is why we do it. Not only do we have all the memories of the food, raising the animals, we had a bunch of modern steaders over, we had the three day pig harvesting class, every time I cut into a piece of meat or cook something, I think of everything. I think of Jennifer cleaning the intestines, scraping. I think of cleaning all the pigs with everybody, with Dennis cleaning the heads. And everybody just helping out. It was great. There's so many memories there. And then the food's delicious. So you got the great memories you wouldn't get from store-bought food. And you can't even buy this quality of food. So much more healthier for you. We had people leaving in the comments about eating bacon in moderation. You should eat everything in moderation. But great pasture-raised food is good for you. Fat, good pasture-raised fat is healthy for you. I'm not a doctor. And I'm not claiming to be one. But good quality fat is good for you. You need it. Your brain is, I believe, 90%, it's either 90 or 80% made out of fat. Yeah. So if you have a low fat diet, you're not getting that fat your brain needs. Let's go in and let the chickens out. Mr. Biggs. Andy. I still haven't got the chicken coop finished winterized. So we're keeping the chickens locked up in New York City during the day when no one's home. And then when I come home or Gina comes home, we're letting them out. 
into the greenhouse and they can free range if they want. That's why we're leaving them locked up for now during the day. Tomorrow morning, I plan on getting this enclosed. I'll bring you guys along with us and that'll be our project for tomorrow. Let's go see how many eggs we have. They've been cutting back on eggs lately because the time change has really messed them up and it's winter. They'll be picking up hopefully soon on the eggs. Let's see, we have three. That's what we've been averaging the last few days. Nice, fresh, clean nesting boxes. Oh, let's go check in on prosciutto and copa. They're out. I don't know if they're enjoying the snow, but they're out in the snow. The wind has been fierce. I need to pick up some tarps that have blown around. Hello, girls. Do you like the snow? Definitely getting to know us better, yeah. I've got some leftovers for you. I see you brought your water pail in the IBC tote. Hello. I think this is the closest I've gotten to you girls before. I got some food, you smell it? Yeah. Ready? Does that smell good? You like the bread? I cut the bread in half so you could each have half. I was thinking of you. We have to get some more hay out here. Ooh. Acting like our other pigs. One of the pigs doesn't want to share with the other one, so they bring it inside the tote. Drink your water. They're getting a lot friendlier already. They're already recognizing us as food too, which is a good thing. One of our goals is this winter is to let the chickens free range more and not have them just inside the greenhouse. And a big score for us so far has been Andy gets out and he free ranges, but as you can see, he goes in the coop at night to sleep. That really excites me because he was the one I was worried about the most. And that's the reason the Icelandic chickens are not in here yet. Once I get it so we can enclose the whole system and keep them locked up, we'll bring the Icelandic chickens over here. We'll lock everybody up for a week or so. We won't let them out of the greenhouse. We'll let them out of New York City, but they'll be in New York City in the greenhouse. The Icelandic chickens will learn this is home so we can let them free range during the winter. And when it starts to get dark, fingers crossed, they'll come back inside the greenhouse and go into New York City to roost and sleep for the night. That's the way it's supposed to work. It has so far the rest of our animals. We'll find out soon. And this is what Pluto and Figaro are up to. They're chilling out by the wood stove. It's nice and warm down here. You like the wood stove? Does it keep you warm? Saying, what the heck is that dead cat on top of your camera? <sighs> this is Friday, so the day after Thanksgiving for everybody. I hope everybody had a great, happy Thanksgiving. Hope they all ate well, 
And I hope you're not doing too much Black Friday shopping. And if you are, stay safe. People can get crazy out there during Black Friday shopping. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. You gonna say bye? Are you?